So welcome to day two here at DreamHack Summer 2011, of course, for the Season 1 League of Legends $100,000 Championship. Today we're going to see some absolutely amazing games. Of course, yesterday we concluded Groups A and B, with Group B being especially close, coming right down to the last game, and Team Solo Mid being in a make-or-break situation, which they came out on top of and managed to top that Group B. Today we're going to be moving into the relegation games, and then finally onto the two semi-finals in the upper bracket of the day. Today we're going to take a look around the event again and also talk to some people about their favorites for the event. Our first game of the day is AAA versus Gamed. It's going to be a crazy EU showdown. And we are going to see Soaz um, initiate this fight. Kevin's in a little bit of trouble here. Soaz is going to be in there and annoying. Although we will see Kuji go down first of all. That's not the greatest thing for against authorities. We see Candy Panda. Rocket jumps in onto Soaz. Ignite was put out there. But we see a very aggressive counter push once again. Candy Panda is going to go down. Kevin is there for the taking if they go around. Not quite just yet. Nif will go down. They can continue to push here. Everyone is flashing towards that. This is going to be definitely the Nexus down. Triple A will move on in this relegation match and be the third team. Final request. So I got denied a high five from you yesterday. Can I have a high five today? I don't high five. What do you think to League of Legends as an esports title? Oh, I think it's a, it's a great title for esports because I watch mainly everything like StarCraft and all the different things as well as Heroes and Newer. But League of Legends really has its own kind of um, speciality to it, how it has um, all these different things about it, to do with the different lanes, to do with how many people, like the entire community that goes well with it, as well as it can be like a family and fun friendly game, but it can also be really competitive and really skill based. So I, I think it's quite one of the, one of the best esports that I've watched so far. I started playing League of Legends, some friends of mine showed me, and since I've been playing it all the time. I think it's the best esports game. And I'm always watching his dreams and I love the game. That's the main reason I'm here at DreamX as well. Fnatic versus CLG. Round of applause for the teams. And it looks like we're going to have another fight for you here. LP taking a lot of damage on Vayne. Elements goes down instantly without being able to heal the team. And this is what Fnatic really wanted. The healer is out. Swain is not, has nothing really to gain health off of. He will go down very quickly. PK is just chasing him in cat and mouse right now. The blood boil to go into Hotshot GG, but they don't even care. He gets him within the range of the turret. No ultimate coming out of the hands of Hotshot. He goes down and a very nice job by Jarvan as he comes in with the flag <laughs> toss. That could go really, really bad for Fnatic right now. If CLG take a proper clipper initiative, and there it is. Oh, wow. wow. That's exactly what Fnatic needed it, or did not need at that point in time. CLG able to get a huge amount of damage out. And it looks like this will be game. However, they do have three members coming up right now, so they may be able to push them off. No, it's going to be a 5v2 situation. And ladies and gentlemen, Fnatic able to push CLG back to the fifth place game. All right, we're here with Becca from Fnatic. Congratulations, that was an awesome game. Good job. How do you feel? Awesome. That's the only word I can say now. Really awesome. Game DE versus Counter Logic Gaming. Unfortunately, both teams lost their relegation matches. Just a slow big fat LP down with there and goes the ulti and Chaucer will move in with the Valkyrie and they're going to keep pushing for this one or at least they should flash out by Caitlyn and they should keep running from this one. Elements is going to come diving in. Heal comes out from Tarek, but I think Tarek is the first man to fall down to uh, the uh, gangplank there, and Kevin's also in a lot of trouble. Great room from Lux. Uh, this is actually a lot funner, I think. Uh, there's a lot more teams, um, a lot more competition this year. Who do you think is going to win? Well, I hope uh, Solomit will win, and I think they will win as well. They've showed so far that they have a great team, great coordination, and obviously, of course, Rainman is number one. I think Team Solo Mid will probably win. I just have a feeling by watching their play on uh, live streams. Well, it's pretty close, but I think it's going to go for TSM because they've got pretty much a stronger leader. We have against all 30 versus Team Solo Mid. Wow, no way! No way! 
Oh, wow. Nexus turrets are almost down. The top is down. TSM going through one turret. Triple A going through one turret as well. And we're going to have to see who pulls this one out. It looks like it's going to be TSM as they do get the Nexus to go down. Wow. Very nice gameplay there. I'm shaking right now. It's just like, I don't know. Like, I've never had it come down like that close. Like, in, a, in like a match that actually mattered. Like, come down to the, a point where like, it's either one team's going to win or the other team's going to win. I mean, it can't get any closer than that. The Sona, and they're going to be able to shut that down. Another minion wave coming up behind him. Rain Man looking to initiate again. It all goes down. He throws down the adhesive, and the Vlad alt also goes down, procking on two of the AAA members uh, against all authority. Looking to take some damage. Sona with a good burst heal. Looks like they will be able to drop Rain Man. KX also falls. This could be the final push for it, and it looks like AAA will be the first team going into the winner's bracket here. The semifinals of the Season 1 Championship for League of Legends here. We are seeing a push from Epic now. Let's see what they can do. Focus, is it going to be Shushi or is it going to be Cyanide? They don't really care. If they're going to push in, actually. Ulti, of course, is out there from uh, Nunu. We've seen South drop down low. There's the ultimate from Amumu. And Shushi's going to wait. Somehow, Cyanide got away from that one. Not quite enough to survive. But here come the rest of Fnatic. Soraka, surely the focus, first of all. She should fall very quickly to these three. And they've actually gone, decided to uh, focus down on Dan Din as well. Exhaust is on him. Finally, uh, Soraka was dealt with. And I think Dan Din is going to go down. Surely they'll be able to catch up with him here. And there we go. Sushi will finish it off. And it is three down for Epic. Every single time has happened. Double is going to take an arrow to the face, but that's not a really big deal. Dandin getting a little bit hurt. He's going to be fine. The wish comes out. Looks like West Rice taking the pain right now. Gets uh, takes the stun. And there's a Demacia yell. Sign up if I get to pick up that kill. Looks like uh, Lemmy Azelt will not go down to double lift. So that is two kills to one. The inhibitor is back down to there now. Down onto the turrets. This could be Fnatic to take this game. The one turret is down. Dandin up in the front. The two turrets are down. They are now on to the Nexus. Will it be an EU winner bracket final? Looks like it will. Fnatic will win this series. Karen Vinuk and joining me for the day two recap are Freak and Remington the third. And uh, so today was amazing. It was day two. We saw a lot of really exciting matches, certainly some of the closest League of Legends matches I've ever seen in my life, um, with the EU teams making a particularly great showing. So, what were some of the most exciting moments for you guys? Well, the most amazing moment for me has to be the base race that we saw in uh, the first semifinal game. It was an amazing matchup. The teams were able to get to each side. It was solo mid versus AAA. They were going at a head-to-head. -head. They both decided to go for Baron, and Reginald, just being such a six, a six sense player, was able to let his team know, we need to start making a way for that top turret, take out the inhibitor, and it was actually the closest base race I've ever seen in my entire life. A matter of seconds between the Nexus is going down. The crowd was in an absolute uproar. We were able to break 200,000 viewers today on the stream, and that was just really extreme, and a big ups to the community for really being able to participate in this as well. You guys did a great job. Obviously, for us in the crowd, you know, we could barely contain ourselves just standing there watching it. So you guys had to commentate and, you know, just just talk about what was going on. So you guys did a really great job. And, you know, we're excited to see the grand finals tomorrow. You guys will be commentating that. Um, you know, what are your thoughts going into those finals? Do you have any favorites? What's on your mind? I think it's going to be awesome to see Fnatic again coming out with their starting five. We definitely saw that that was a very big difference. That XPK was able to come into the game, play as Malzahar, and really shut down a lot of teams with that. They were able to come out very strong. And uh, I, I hope to see more games like we did. A uh, Freak was doing the final game. It was uh, between uh, Epic and Fnatic as well. And I, I don't think I've ever seen a game that had both teams over 70,000 combined gold. Both teams had 70,000 gold combined in the game. And that is just absolutely extreme. That really means it's coming down to it. And after you can get all those items into the game, it, it means it comes down to the strategy and the mindset you have to play. So that's a lot of what we're going to see tomorrow. It's going to come down to that lengthy game where it really comes down to who has the better strategy after the items and the recipes are finally built. Great. And, and you, for tomorrow, what are your expectations? Expectations? Um, I, I think Fnatic has it. I think that they've proven themselves on LAN. Last time they and AAA fought, uh, Fnatic did come out with that victory. 
And, you know, the European players keep saying, you know, against authority has been, been winning everything for the most part online. They're the best on paper. They've, you know, the number one seed from Europe. But Fnatic does it on land. And that's what seems to be the case. And, and this, this happens a lot in professional gaming, that there are teams who do it on land. And, and Fnatic is that team right now. And I think they're just going to come through and just crush faces. You know, started out the first day one and two, came out today not even dropping a map. And I think they might repeat that performance tomorrow. Although when you get to this video, I guess it's today. Um, and and uh, in the lower bracket, you know, uh, I think Epic has it. I think Epic is just a little bit hungrier. And even though he said, uh, you know, Dan Dan in the interview said, well, no, you know, usually I lose to my brother. Usually TSM wins in scrims. I think it doesn't matter. I think Epic is, again, the team that does it on LAN. Uh, and, and I can't wait to see them uh, have another showdown uh, today. All right. So it's going to be an amazing day, day three. Thank you both so much. And we will see you later on.